The RDC is shipped in its own protective case. When it is opened for the first time, take the RDC out of the case and turn the case right side out. This exposes the handles and makes the case ready for repacking and carrying. Put the case aside and remove the packing wrap from the RDC. At this point it is important not to drag the RDC along the ground or any rough surface. When deflated the RDC is vulnerable to scratches and abrasions. If you need to move the RDC lift it or put it back in the protective case. Next, unroll the RDC to expose the air fill valves. The first time you use the manifold, you will register it to fit the RDC. Make sure that all three valve poppets are in the up and closed position. Insert the middle arm of the manifold into the floor fill valve and turn it 180 degrees until it locks into place. Repeat this for both of the side tube fill valves. When they are locked into the fill valves, adjust the hoses on the valve adapters by spinning them to eliminate any kinks in the hoses. Now you have registered your manifold to fit your RDC. When you fill the RDC next time, it will just require a quarter of a back turn to connect each valve adapter to the fill valve. Next, attach the pre-assembled SCBA nut assembly to the SCBA bottle. Make sure the O-ring and the SCBA connection is in good working condition. Insert fully and hand tighten. Do not use excessive force. Before inflating, secure the SCBA bottle properly. When filling the RDC, the hose may develop ice on the outside and become extremely cold. Do not handle with bare hands. Do a final check of all the hoses and assemblies and then start the fill. The total fill time should take about one minute or less. As you fill the RDC, the air should flow evenly into the floor and the side tubes. As the fill process nears completion, you should hear the pressure relief valves begin to vent the excess air. If the floor fills faster than the side tubes, you will hear the floor relief valve go first. If this happens, place your hand over the floor relief valve, preventing the air from escaping and forcing the air to flow into the side tubes. You should then start to hear the relief valves on the side tubes start to vent, indicating that the RDC has reached its desired pressure of about 3 psi. Close the SCBA bottle and remove each section of the manifold.
The final step, and one of the most important to keeping the RDC fully inflated, is to place the caps back on the fill valves. Your RDC is now fully inflated and ready for service.